Now let us look at some of the uh, implications of compression. What is the price that we pay in terms of using a compression technique? Consider a computer that is used for the compression of images. In this case, the price we pay is in terms of processing power. Recall the first line of information that we transmitted. In raw form, it will be transmitted as 640, not 680, but 640 bits. If we were to use a compression technique, then this needs to be encoded into what we showed earlier as 640 slash 0. Now, in order to compress this data, we need to process this data and the computer needs to generate this encoding information. The compression is not a difficult task because of the fact that today's modern computers are equipped to handle high-powered processing. Therefore, the processing power that is required at the computer's end is easily available with today's Pentium processors that operate at very high speed. The other implication of compressed data files is in the transmission of such files over a modem line. Let us assume that we want to transmit a compressed image file over the internet. Assume also that the computer is connected to the internet over a modem line. At the receiving end, we will have another modem receiving the information and it will then send the information to the computer. Now the computer already has a compressed file, which is the compressed image file that is sent to the modem. Assume that this modem operates at 56 kilobits per second to transmit the information. Incidentally, although 56 kilobits per second is the maximum transmission speed, in reality it is not that high. Let us assume that a maximum of 48 kilobits per second is possible or 46 kilobits per second is possible with this modem in realistic conditions. The modem also uses compression to achieve this faster speed. Therefore, when the modem sends an already compressed file, it may not be able to achieve this high speed of transmission when sending compressed files. This is another implication of transmitting compressed files over modems that already use compression to increase the speed of communication. In practice, it is almost always the case that image files are not sent in its raw form. What is its raw form? When you have an image divided into pixels, let us assume in this case it is 640 by 480 and it is a black and white image. So the storage requirement for this image is 640 by 480 multiplied by 1 and the file can be stored in this raw file, in this raw format, which is known as the bit mapped format, and the files have an extension as BMP. BMP is the storage of an image in its raw form. Therefore, it takes a lot of storage space, but it also retains all the information without any loss about a particular image. There are compression formats that are used to reduce the size of a raw file. The two prominent compression formats are JPEG and GIF. These two are the popular formats that are used in the internet. Most web pages, for example, have images that are either on the JPEG format or they are on the GIF format. In the case of these two formats, they allow the designer to strike a balance between the quality and the storage space. For example, by choosing different values for the JPEG parameters, one can either have a high quality image or one can have a low quality image. 
with the appropriate variation in the storage space. For example, if we need a high quality JPEG image, then of course the storage space for that image would be higher. By varying the parameters in the JPEG, we could reduce the storage requirement by compromising on the quality of the image. It is not always necessary to have very high quality image. Sometimes the human eye cannot differentiate between minute variations of the color. Therefore, it is up to the designer to strike a balance between the quality and the storage space requirement, which also means a balance between the quality of the image and the bandwidth requirement required to transmit the image. Some compression techniques achieve a high degree of image quality. Some of these compression techniques are known as lossless compressions, but in general one may encounter a compression technique that may incorporate a certain degree of loss in the quality of the image based on the fact as mentioned earlier that the human eye cannot differentiate between very minute variations of several colors.